What's going on everybody? Welcome to today's video. Today I'm gonna to take you guys through a full day of eating on prep. But Katie is down in Houston and she's making, what are you making? Right now I'm just toasting, toasting some English muffins, English muffins on a pan because we don't have a toaster, which I didn't realize that everybody didn't have a toaster until she went to try to toast something because all I basically do is cook chicken breast and oatmeal in the microwave. Um, but I'm gonna have Katie hold the camera real quick. And I'll show you guys breakfast. So here we have a very simple first meal of the day. Yes, we're having chicken tenderloins for breakfast. We have five ounces of those, 100 grams of carrots, and two rice cakes. We're gonna be training a little bit later in the day so we can basically use uh, one day past the Alphaland for two days, like 24 hours. So I'm gonna have basically chicken for two meals in the morning. We're gonna have protes before our workout, protes after, and then our protein pudding in the evening. But yeah, we're gonna down this. I'll bring out the macros for you guys real quick. Obviously, full day of eating, need to get the macros. So meal one comes out to be 298 calories, 35 grams of carbs, three grams of fat, and 35 grams of protein. Also, I'm gonna have uh, my hydrate formula before we head out for the day. Once again, with being in Houston, the heat getting up to like 100 degrees each day, I'll be having that before we head out. And I think today, we're actually gonna go to a park. I can't remember exactly what it's called. Maybe, I think it's like maybe Heritage Park or something. But we're gonna eat this, um, Katie's gonna eat her breakfast. We'll head over to the park and just get some steps in, we'll take you guys there. All right, we've made it to Herman Park. Is it just Herman Park or Herman National Park or something? It's not a national park. I don't know. <laughs> That'd be funny. But we're at Herman Park. Um, honestly, it seems massive. There's a golf course in here. I think there's a zoo um, and there's a bunch of trails. So we're just gonna kind of walk for a little bit. We need lots of steps, 15,000 on the day. So get a nice early start. Hopefully stay in the shade for the most part. Keep her nice and cool so she doesn't get mad. <laughs> I'm not gonna be mad. I'm just gonna <laughs> smell like a horse farm. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're just gonna walk around. Hopefully, don't get lost. And um, yeah, if we see some cool stuff, I'll take videos of it.
Alrighty, time for the second meal. Sipping on a fresca as I make it. But as far as the broccoli goes, uh, I've actually gotten some questions about how I make it. All I'm doing is taking this Kroger broccoli, just comes in a big bag like this. I'm measuring out 200 grams. Um, so we got 200 grams of broccoli in the bowl right there. Then all I'm gonna do is basically put some saran wrap, or I guess this is cling wrap, and microwave it for about four minutes. So nothing fancy, I'm not boiling it. Not If I was at home, I'd probably air fry it, honestly. Um, but down here, since just we're going for quick efficiency and um, that's all they have to use. But I do put just a touch of water in the bowl, literally like, like none at all, just to let steam a little bit better. Uh, but yeah, then we'll throw some cling wrap, cling wrap, was it cling wrap? Cling wrap? I call it saran wrap, so I, I don't know. <laughs> but this thing, but this thing says, cling wrap, cling wrap, tight seal. But all you do is take that, throw it in the microwave, four minutes. I'm sure every microwave is going to be a little bit different but it comes out nice and soft and it's what I'm currently doing. Might be a little bit sad. Then also in addition to that, we have the rest of our chicken. So I did measure this out already. We heated some chicken up this morning. We have two tender ones right there, which will be five ounces of chicken. And then I'm trying to think of what else. Oh, we have two rice cakes and some peanut butter. So we got chocolate rice cakes, some peanut butter. So we're gonna use two chocolate rice cakes, 15 grams of peanut butter, and that's meal number two. Here we are with meal number two. We've got our 200 grams of broccoli, five ounces of chicken tenderloin, two rice cakes, a little bit of peanut butter. This meal comes out to be 415 calories, 41 grams of carbs, 11 grams of fat, and 44 grams of protein. We have two chicken meals because we're saving all of our carbs for the pre-workout. So we have two chicken meals. Then we're gonna have one serving of protes, probably around, what time is it now? It's about around noon, probably around like three. And then we'll have our big, um, our banana, peanut butter, and oatmeal around maybe 5.36, which is our pre-workout, go to the gym, hit legs, and then we'll have come back and have our post-workout, which will just be our protein pudding at the end of the day. I'll show you guys how to make that. But for now, yeah, we're gonna dig in, keep it simple, keep it low carb, as I mentioned, so we can save up carbs for the workout as far as performance, all kind of good stuff. But yeah, without further ado, watch some Good Mythical Morning, and then probably go for a walk. Just move around a little bit. I think a five to 10 minute walk will help a lot with digestion as far as, once again, making sure everything runs smoothly within the body. But yeah, see you guys in the next meal. All right, we're been together the pre-workout meal. Once again, you guys have probably seen this before. We got two packets of the Kroger maple brown sugar, less sugar. We're gonna take two packets, dump it in a bowl, and one full thing of these with water, throw it in the microwave for three minutes. So we got the Prime, this is the Ice Pop. I decided to give them a second chance. Got a couple comments saying that the blue raspberries isn't a good one, so we got the Prime Ice Pop. And honestly, hopefully I like this, because I feel like I really like if it is based on like that ice pop or that rocket pop as a kid, I do like that flavor a lot. Okay, that's actually a lot better. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. The, the flavor actually stays with the blue raspberry, like you tasted it for a split second and disappeared. This actually kind of stays with you and actually has that kind of ice pop, like a melted ice pop flavor. Yeah, not too carbonated either, so I would say as far as carbonation goes, it's very similar carbonation to a monster. This is Isaac's, I'm not doing two energy drinks, not yet. But um, yeah, good carbonation, tastes a lot better, stronger flavor as well. So, all right, Prime, you might have redeemed yourself with this little ice pop here. So we're gonna sip on this, and then we got legs today. Um, Isaac's gonna hit the workout with me, and um, yeah, that's oatmeal. But let's down this, I'll show you guys the final product, the macros, all that good stuff, and then, yeah, we got a nice little gym session. Oh, and this bowl comes out Steaming hot, so make sure you get, what are these things called? A bowl. A bowl. Okay, what do you think? Bullets. I know you don't drink caffeine, but at least the flavor. Hmm. Um, <laughs> you need like a second sip? <laughs> I actually, no, I actually do like that, but I think that's very, it says zero sugar, but it just it's tastes very syrupy. potent. Syrupy, yeah, right? That. Like syrup, it has like that flavor. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a big fan of that. She's like, not a big energy drink girl. <laughs> or I'm caffeine not a in general. Energy drink girl, period. Yeah, like true. I will explode if I have one. No caffeine. But yeah, it's like a like a little bit of syrupy taste, but I mean that's like what a melted popsicle is, right? Just like icy true. icy syrup. Um but yeah. So we're going in with um just a splash of almond milk, one full scoop of transparent labs. Um, this is the whey protein isolate, a little bit higher in protein. We'll take that, mix it in as well as some cinnamon. Boop, 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 boop. 
Let's get a couple spanks. Nothing wrong with a little bit extra cinnamon. We'll mix this together and then we'll add in 30 grams of peanut butter as well as one chopped up banana. That's gonna be a final product. That's so hot. And be careful with how much almond milk you add just because if you add too much, you can't take it out. Um, but if you don't add enough, you can always add more in. But I personally like my oats a little bit more soupy than some, so I'm okay with it. 33. 30, perfect. Alrighty, and there's our final product. Our protes right there with a banana, peanut butter, by far my favorite meal. I also got some people tell me to use blueberries instead of bananas, make it like a peanut butter and jelly oats. But honestly, I love the combination of peanut butter and banana, which I know some people have been like, probably weirded out by it. I honestly was before I actually tried it, but I love this combination so much. And the macros for this meal come out to be, they're a little bit higher, but once again, pre-workout. 668 calories, 83 grams of carbs, 20 grams of fat, 45 grams of protein. Pre-workout meal, we're gonna eat this. Probably hang out for just a little bit, let it digest, head to the gym, and then like I said, we got legs. It's so weird that like, all I can think about is how much I wanna eat this every day for the rest of my life. But I know as soon as I start bulking again, like it's gonna get so old so quick. But right now it's like my favorite meal ever. I honestly just wish it was bigger, like can-wise. Like I wish there's, I, wait, actually those are pretty comparable. <laughs> I think like, okay, but I, I feel like the monster's bigger. How many ounces is this? All right, this is 12 ounces. I think monster's 16, right? Okay, yeah, this is 16, this is 12. So I was like, for a second I lost track, but honestly I wish there's more of it. Cause right now being on a cut, I just like want more of everything, more fluid, more food, whatever it is. But I mean 200 milligrams of caffeine and it's pretty good.
kick, though. That's my ball. Oh, yeah? Whatever, Jack. This one ain't the rules. Way short. All right, Jack. It was a gym. I thought it was cool that there's posing rooms and stuff. Not that I will use that. But I think I was telling Jack the people is what makes it different. Because everyone there is like wearing alpha lead and posing and very worried about their self image, which is fine. If you want to do that, do that. It's all good. <laughs> um, but personally, I was just there to work out. It was fine. It was great. It was a good experience. I'll be back again tomorrow. Jack, God, that place sucked. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, I, I personally love it. I love it here. I love the fact, like, I think the fact that people, like, they might care, but I think I'll, they also don't go f like, everyone films, does whatever. It's, like, normal to film here, where, like, back at home, it's yeah. like you film, you're, like, weird. Whereas, like, if you film here, it's like, oh, like, that's the normal thing to do. Like, you should, like, if you're not, then you're, like, wasting your time, that kind of thing. Posing room's nice. The aesthetic's amazing. The lighting's amazing. Like, I mean, shoot, if I was, I don't know if I'd move for the gym necessarily, but like it's, I mean, I get why people do, and I also get why like people come here all the time. One other thing, everything is made for tall people. I could not do rows, I could <laughs> not do cable curls. I had to stack up so many, that's like normal, but this was like excessive. Well, you, you, um, had, you only tried one set of cables. Okay. And there's a yellow, <laughs> <laughs> and there's a yellow Lamborghini out front that just makes it cool automatically. Anyways, I told Jack that I'm used to going at 6 in the morning when there's only old men at my gym. And it's just really wholesome. I feel like I'm just hanging out with my grandpa. And here, I told Jack, I was like, it's actually really fun that everyone is very, like, fit. Because it's, it's motivating. It's fun. It's a good time. Um, yeah. It was, it's dope. It was fine. It was great. It's a good experience. Um, would I pay to go here? No, but let me ask. If you come here, might as well. Would you pay a hundred a month to go here? Never in a million years would I pay anything more than twenty dollars a month for a gym membership. <laughs> I don't care if I'm Bill Gates and I have I one million dollars. We paid eighty dollars for one day, so. <laughs> I think you're just like. Well, obviously you don't. You don't think you like. Wait, you haven't tried any, have you? Here's the thing. I just a thought of it. I watch. You watch it sometimes, or like I can hear it, and I'm like... Well, you hear me watch sub stuff, so you hear it in Japanese, but they make dub versions of things. No, that's not it's, it's not, it's not the language barrier that throws me off. It's the cartoon aspect of it. I don't like it. I think... The fact that an anime is animated? Like, personally, I've told you this, I think it's very poorly animated. I think it's just very, like, I could draw that type of thing because I think about like just stop there just 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 stop there Demon Slayer is probably the worst out of them all animation wise just not just not it just not Jack you're allowed to like things that I don't like and I'm allowed to like things that you don't like yep sure so enough. you asked for my opinion so I gave it to you all right we're a casein protein pudding I'll show you guys so I posted my story actually the other day and got like Probably a dozen DMs of like, what is that? What is that? I'll show you guys how to make it. Super simple, but just casein protein and some almond milk, so. So all you need to make the casein pudding is casein protein as well as some almond milk. So it's very basic, but you do need casein. It will not work with a whey or an isolate or anything else. It has to be casein, um, just because it's a little bit thicker. Um, also, you can bake with casein, which is, makes it things a little bit, um, in my opinion, a little, taste a little better, a little bit thicker. But we're gonna take one scoop of this knock it down so one scoop of casein pudding or casein protein it's going to turn into pudding like that and the big thing here you want to slowly add in some almond milk i've been making this quite a bit so i kind of kind of eyeball it normally i get it in one try but 
Once again, I'm not exactly sure how much, but that looks about good. And the biggest thing there, once again, just like our oatmeal, put less almond milk in to start, and then you can always add more later and give it a mix. It will seem like it's not mixing at first, but trust me, just keep going. All right, we're slowly getting there. Just make sure everything's incorporated, because you'll get little chunks of, of actual protein. So make sure those get mixed in real well. Scrape the edges of the bowl. Oh yeah, there's a big chunk right there. Sorry, Isaac. <laughs> Boom, and that's pretty much it. That's actually pretty good, honestly, for just one guess on the almond milk. So as you can see here, it's starting to thicken up a little bit, kind of that pudding consistency. It's not too runny, uh, it's not too clumpy. Honestly, you probably add maybe, I'm gonna add just a touch more of almond milk, just, just a, a splash. Boom, just like that. Because I prefer, once again, a little bit of a thinner pudding, but if you want it a little thicker, you can. Mix this last little bit in, boom, and there's your final product. Basically like a nice little pudding consistency. A little bit runny, but also pretty thick. We're we'll actually throws in the freezer look for a little bit for two reasons. One, I prefer it to be a little bit colder, so it's kind of like a kind of like maybe like a gelato ice cream style. Also for it to thicken up a little bit more. So we'll go ahead, throw this in the freezer as is for about anywhere I'd say between 10 to 20 minutes. You can kind of pick your preference. If you want to do five minutes, if you're in a rush, you could do it too. You could eat it now, but we have a little bit of time. We're gonna download some stuff on the computer. So throw this in for um, 15 minutes in the freezer. All right, let's go ahead and check on our pudding. Got this right there. As you can see, thickened up a little bit. Oh, that's perfect. I already know I've had this a lot. That is like perfect consistency for me, a little bit globby. And that's gonna be a nice little base. Add some blueberries on top, and that's gonna be a delicious dessert. Uh, looks like we need some more blueberries, but I do have another container, luckily. Let's see, yeah. Oh, I got two containers in there. Nice, because we we're always stocked. Once again, I guess that's a good thing about eating the same stuff again and again and again is that you're always kind of stocked up on it because instead of getting like five different fruits, I just like, okay, I eat bananas, strawberries, and blueberries. So I'm just gonna get those every time I go to the grocery store, stuff like that. Go ahead, throw your casing protein pudding um, on the scale, zero it out, then we're just gonna dump blueberries in. We need 100 grams. So we're just gonna go ahead and continue to add. Hopefully I don't spill any of these. Oh, yep, I spilled some. Oh, 102, uh-oh. Oh, I'm just kidding, that's like, that's totally unnecessary. Two grams of blueberries is not gonna kill you or mess up your prep whatsoever, but. I bet closer to stage day or anything. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, why, why not, right? It takes two <laughs> seconds, pull a blueberry off. I also definitely lost one somewhere, I still, but um, that's gonna be our dessert right here. Um, and yes, I said dessert, because in my opinion, it tastes absolutely amazing. So got this right there, but I'll go ahead and read out the macros for you guys for this meal, as well as the day in total, because we're doing full day of eating of a natural bodybuilder on prep. Let's see here. All right, so meal number five, the casein protein pudding, a little bit of almond milk, as well as the blueberries, comes up to be 197 calories, 19 grams of carbs, two grams of fat, and 26 grams of protein. That brings your day total to 2,027, 244 grams of carbs, 41 grams of fat, and 188 grams of protein. I personally love this meal. It gets me results. I enjoy every meal I have. The chicken's a little bit bland, but at the same time, like I accept it, because I'm willing to sacrifice a little bit of taste for the chicken to have my protes and this meal right here. Yeah, without further ado, that is a wrap on a full day of eating as a natural bodybuilder and prep. A little over 12 weeks out. I'm gonna end the day with some casein protein pudding. I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Peace.